here's the thing about AR that I always say when people ask me about AR, mm? even though I'm not a uh, thought expert at all in yes. this. <laughs> yes, maybe after, maybe this, after this. Maybe yeah. after this. But, um, and, and th- this is the thing about technology in general. I think, okay, so we as humans, we are very emotional creatures. We mm-hmm. make decisions based on our emotions predominantly. It's yeah. been proven again and again in science. And the way to affect our emotions is through some kind of visualization. Mm-hmm. It's not very engaging to read some text or whatever. The more you can visualize, the more emotions you can awake in a human. You know, think of yourself going to a movie theater, uh, watching Star Wars, compared Mm. to reading the book Star Wars. Mm. The majority of people has watched the movies. Very, very few people has read the books. And that's because we are emotional creatures. We like the scenery and the the imagery uh, from, from the movie theater. Yeah. So... That is the whole promise of AR, if you ask me, and VR for that matter, that you can all of a sudden create experiences that are much more engaging. Mm. So I don't think there's any doubt to most people that are even critics to AR, that there's no doubt that AR is going to happen. Mm. The question is when. The question is who is going to be ready at the point when it starts to go mainstream. Yeah, but the question is also, what do you mean by happen? Sure. Like... I, th- I think before we started the podcast, we we talked about the app moment. Yes. Uh, the the time when anyone could download a program to a mobile device mm. and 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 run that and get value out of it, mm. uh, like apps that that people have now, mm. and you f- think of it as like an app moment, mm. but when you think back, the app moment has lasted like about 10 years mm. now mm. We, and now the app moment is starting to be it, it, it's actually like going full circle mm. in the beginning you had websites mm. that you could access on the free and open internet right. back when the internet was more like it was more like a, a bunch of small merchants mm. in a uh, in, in, in like a, a small city where everyone had their own small shop true and now the internet has become a mall Mm. <laughs> it it everybody shouting hey look here look here look here yeah and, and everything is put into these boxes mm. and there's one like mall owner mm. uh, which is like amazon or google mm. and they control all of the malls mm. um true 